everyone, this is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's card is a really awesome card using some really fantastic Lawn Fawn products. I am using the Center Picture Window card, but I am also putting it in a regular A2 size card base. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start off by coloring inking up a bunch of cardstock. And I am using Distress Oxide inks in Broken China and Mermaid Lagoon. Um, I'm doing this because when I'm die cutting out the pieces for the center picture window card, I am basically making my colored cardstock. Now, you don't have to do it this way. You could use a colored cardstock or a pattern cardstock. Um, but I am making the sky um, and there's a lot of the sky. <laughs> so I just, and I love to use Distress Oxide inks. It is one of my favorite things and there's something super satisfying about it. Now I'm blending, this is Broken China and I am not being super careful about how it's blended. I don't mind that it's um, a little bit choppy if that makes sense because to me it kind of gives a feel of a little bit of clouds. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I did the big piece I am going, that was, I believe my A2 size piece. I don't remember, but you'll see. Um, I'm doing another piece and just laying down the ink, not even trying to be super neat about it. I'm getting a pretty decent blend, but again, I am not super picky if it's a little bit splotchy because that is kind of the look that I'm going for this time around. So this is where I'm seeing where my die cut is going to fit. That is the base for the center picture window card. So that's like the actual card base, if that makes sense. So I'm making sure that that's wide enough. Taking another piece of white cardstock and doing the same thing. This will all come together in just a little bit, guys. So just be patient with me. But this piece is going to be the front where you cut out where you actually have the window. So making sure that that is wide enough to run that through my die cut machine. So adding the die cuts to this and I'm going to run that through my spell binders. I've got the platinum six. And now you can see that there's a score line in the center of the, in the center of that. So this is where the picture is going to be. You've got this oval and in the center there, you can see in the die cut in the center, there's an opening you can see where your score line is. You're gonna put that on there and run that through your die cut machine. So now I am using uh, my, my favorite thing stencil. It's just cloud, their cloud stencil. And I'm also using Ranger's Glacier White um, Pigment Ink. And I am just adding really soft clouds to the background. I, I need this big background, but I also don't want it to be the star of the show. But I felt like if it was just straight blue, it wouldn't be great. So again, you can see why having it a little bit choppy with the inking worked out in my favor. So I'm just adding the white to this and it's really subtle, subtle clouds, which was exactly the look I was going for. So this is my card base. So now I'm gonna be using uh, some Simon Says Stamp Peacock cardstock, and I'm going to be cutting the waves And then here's the two insert pieces. Those, the first waves that I'm cutting, those are from Lawn Fawn's Ocean Add-on. And then you and then you take this little piece that's also in the center picture window and you line it up on this add-on piece, the Lawn Fawn Ocean Add-on, these are the waves. So that way I can get a score line so I can center it on my picture window and you will see how that works. So I will run that through my die cut machine and now you can see that there is a score line right there dead center. So now I've got my inside pieces and my um, ocean waves. So I'm gonna fold the center picture window, the actual card itself. I'm gonna score that. The picture window part, I'm gonna score the little flaps on those. I'm using my bone folder to get a nice sharp crease. And then I'm going to score it in the center. Now I'm gonna score all the lines that I've got here. Those pieces, I'm gonna score in the center and the little flaps. And this comes with the center picture window card. The Lawn Fawn Ocean add-on, I will not score the flaps on the side because we will trim those off. Lawn Fawn has a great video on how to do this. So um, if 
this isn't detailed enough, please go to that and watch that. So that is the wave add-on and I'm trimming off those flaps. So we will get back to that. We are just gonna color this cute boat real fast. Um, the colors that I'm using are on the screen are 35, 37, 39, E35, 37, 59, B24, 26, and 37, and Y11. Keeping this boat super simple, cute traditional little nautical colors, red, white, and blue. And I'm using the anchors in two different on the front and in the inside of the card. Um, and I love how it was used on the inside of the card. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Laying down the lighter color and adding the darker and using the medium to kind of blend that out to get a good shadow. And I'm gonna be using the B2426 for the, the um, Oh my gosh, my the pole and the flag. So for the wood, I'm using E35, 37, 39, and I am not doing a real good blend on this because I want it to look like wood. So I'm kind of flicking from either side. Um, and then I add a little bit of darker shading, but I'm just kind of adding little flicking motions. So it's not this solid, perfect color the way that the sails on the sailboat are, if that makes sense. And I think it turned out super, super cute. I used a little bit of uh, Y11 for the windows on the boat. Here's the blue. And I know it's not called a pole, but it is just escaping me on what the heck that thing is called right now. <laughs> I am not a, I don't sail. So as you can tell. So I'm also using the blue on the rope for the anchor. I mean, obviously you could make it rope color, but I really liked these colors. I liked the, the blue, it was very, very pretty. Colored the hearts red. The anchor is already in black, solid black, and so that works. I also stamped um, the birds, and these images are from Lawn Fawn's Smooth Sailing. I should probably mention that, you might want to know. So finishing that up, adding a little, you know, blending out the darker, and I'm gonna use the coordinating dies to cut these out. Now here are some clouds. Um, and I believe that this is that's also from the center picture window card. Or it could be from the palm tree border. No, that's not from the palm tree. It may be. I'll, it, I'll have that stuff listed, you guys. No worries. So I cut the clouds out. Now I am adding my score tape, my 1 8 inch score tape, to the flaps of the center picture window card um, to the little, the two pieces that go on the inside on those flaps. And then we're gonna put this together. That little piece was long, <laughs> so I need to trim that off. So, the cool thing is there's the score line in the center of everything, which makes this really easy to line up. So you can see right there, there was a score line. I'm gonna attach that to the front of the center picture window card. This again is the add-on, Lawn Fawn's Ocean add-on. And here's where I'm going to trim off those flaps because you don't need them. You don't have to trim them off. You can attach them to the side, but it just was easier for me. So now you're going to line up the centers of everything. You're going to take on the right side of your card, you're going to take that ad the, the adhesive off. Not the adhesive. This the Oh my gosh, my brain is not working today, you guys. The release tape. You're going to line up in the centers of everything where all of the score lines are to the center of the card. You're going to line up every score line there and you're going to fold the adhesive under that right side and adhere that down. I'm going up a little bit higher so you can see the wave behind the wave in the front if that makes sense. Now this one is going to go behind that wave. Again line up all the center score marks together. Then you're gonna fold it over. So you can see everything is lined up dead in the center. This makes it so easy, you guys, it's perfect. <clears throat> that's how that's gonna look once we adhere everything down. So now you're gonna take off all the release paper off the other side of your images.
Then you're going to fold them in half. Everything gets folded in half. So now it's going to be meeting in the center and you're going to fold your other flap over. And give good pressure so everything sticks really well and then you open it and see you now you've got this cute picture window and it's this 3D picture window. So now I'm going to adhere the waves to the side on the side of um, the card on each side. So that way this whole image can go. You don't have to do it this way. You could have all the whole action going on right in that picture window. Um, it is totally up to you how you want to do this. So now I'm going to take the clouds and the birds that I cut out. We're going to be adhering those in the back. First I need to see where this boat needs to be. Um, so I'm not just covering up images. So I'm adding a little bit of Lawn Fawns glue tube and I am adding it to that front wave on the inside. Making sure it stands up high enough that you can see it. And I'm using my tweezers to hold that in place while it dries. Um, I really like the idea of using the liquid glue because it gives me a chance to kind of wiggle things around and it also will hold it really securely. So now I'm gonna add some of these um, clouds and birds to the back part of this card. And also I cut some strips of acetate because I kind of want some images 3D look like they're floating around, if that makes sense. So you'll see how we're gonna put that together in just a minute. So just getting some clouds around there in the back so you can see those there. Making sure everything is straight. <laughs> My boat was not where I needed it to be, so. Thankfully I could move that while it was still just a tad bit wet. Now here is the anchor and I wanted the anchor to hang down below because I knew that this was going to be on a bigger card base. So this will work out perfect. So I've glued that down and you can see it hanging down like it's inside the ocean. So here is the um, acrylic, nope, acetate, <laughs> acetate pieces. I'm going to glue um, some clouds on that and some birds because I, like I said, I wanted that to be 3D. So I'm going to put that aside and let that dry and I'm just cutting thin little pieces. Adding a little bit more of that um, liquid glue and putting those images to the side to dry. Now you've got that cute, cute boat with its anchor. I just love this little picture window thing. So now that those images are on the acetate, I can slide them in and see where I want to put it. So I'm putting a little bit of glue because it will attach to the very back wave behind and the cloud will look like it's floating up 3D. Again, using my tweezers. So now you can see that little cloud right there. And you're just going to trim off the long piece of acetate that was hanging out of the bottom. And then now we've got two birds that we need to put in there. I've got a big bird and a little bird. And again, this is from the Smooth Sailing stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And I'm just trying to play around where I want this bird to be. And I decided I want it to be right next to the boat coming out of the side. So acetate is perfect for this um, left from leftover packaging or whatever you have. So adding some glue, a little bit of liquid glue there. and using my tweezers to hold that in place. Time for the next one, and I'm gonna have him on a different wave, so this little bird, when you look from the other side, so you have just have this 3D look all the way around. And then now I'm gonna adhere some clouds and some more birds to the inside of the, the card on the, on the side panels. I'm having some images hang off so we can trim that off because that just always looks good. It looks like you've got this continuous thing. Things aren't just kind of floating in the middle of your card, if that makes sense. And now we will do more onto the other side. These little clouds were fantastic. I just used the die cuts and cut them out of white cardstock. Nothing spectacular. Um, you could add some shading and stuff like that with markers if you wanted to. I did not. I wasn't even worried about it on this card. So you have so much going on that they were just kind of a background piece. So now I am adding some score tape to the back of that 
picture window card because I want this to stick well. Then I'm gonna add that to my inked and stenciled A2 size card base that I already scored. So I'm gonna line that up in the center where I want it, fold over my card, stick that down, and then I will remove the release paper from the other side and fold it over and do the same thing. I really liked having this little mini card inside of this big card. It just gave you a really big fun scene. So look at how cute that is, you guys. I love it. Turned out fantastic. Okay, so now we used, I used the palm tree border from Lawn Fawn. And I am just cutting little strips of land and island. And we are going to attach those on the side. But I decided I needed some more ocean in the bottom. So I just cut another piece of Simon Says Stamp Peacock cardstock, scored that in the center, and I'm just putting it in the center of the card. Nothing fancy. It doesn't need to go all the way across because I'm going to have little land pieces on the side. So it looks a little funky right now. I promise you it will look better. Trimming off the little excess piece because I didn't trim it quite short enough. I'd rather trim off a little extra than have it too short if that, you know, if that makes sense. So now it looks like that anchor is hanging down into the ocean. So now I'm gonna add my little um, islands on both sides. And of course I cut the paper too big. Normally I don't waste that much paper, but I wasn't quite sure how far in I wanted the little islands to go. So I wasn't worried about it. This is just some craft card stock. This is I had in my stash. Nothing spectacular. We will add a little bit of detail with some markers and white gel pen later. Lining that up, making sure it's even with the other one across from it. And then I will adhere that down. Adding some glue, some liquid glue or a tape runner. I was just doing things hard because I did not feel like measuring you guys. <laughs> so I just kind of lined it up and then glued it down and it worked for me. Sometimes I'm good about measuring. Most of the time I just like to eyeball it. So now here are the cute palm trees from the palm tree border. And I'm going to glue those together. And I used um, some craft cardstock for the bases. And that is Lawn Fawn's cilantro cardstock for the palm fronds. So now that everything's dry, I'm going to trim the edges off. Trim off all the excess. It's tricky when I have to trim it off backwards. I feel like... I feel like I don't know what I'm doing when I, when I do it that way. <gasps> so anyways, now that I got that trimmed off, sometimes I'm just a little bit special. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, that's all done. And look at how cute. Now we've got this great little island. I had some funny little pieces there that were driving me nutty. Okay, so now we've got these cute palm trees and we're gonna put one on each side. It's going to be kind of this little symmetrical design, which is normally not like me. I mean, I do it sometimes, but I kind of like a little more random, but um, I felt like that's kind of what this needed because again, I didn't really want to take away from the center picture card, picture window card. Um, so I kind of wanted to keep it simple on either side. Gluing down these palm trees that, oh, I love so much. They're darling. So just adhering those down, I will trim off any excess that hangs over. And then I am, oh, we've got some grass. I'm jumping the gun here. Little pieces of grass, Lawn Fawn's um, cilantro cardstock, and Simon Says Stamp Green Leaf. And some, I had these little pieces left over from, a, from my cute little fishy card series that you guys I'm sure I'm sure you guys probably saw. So I had some leftover pieces. So it's really good to keep those because you never know when you're going to use them because I probably would have been too lazy at this point to cut some out as funny as that is. So I'm going to adhere those down. Two on each side. And we're going to call that good. Now this is Alon Fawn's stitched wave borders. I'm cutting some more waves out of the Peacock cardstock. And I'm going to adhere that to the front of these this little island. I didn't realize I was going to do that at first, but I didn't like how much island was there, and I just felt like we needed some more, some more waves. So adhering those down, meeting up in the center of the card, and trimming off the excess. 
And now we've got this super cute oceany scene. Okay, so now I am taking, um, oh my gosh, my brain just stopped working, the little sentiment from the Lawn Fawn Ocean add-on, the banner. There we go. And I wanted it to be a little bit wavy. And I'm taking the sentiment from the Smooth Sailing stamp set. And it says, today is all about you. And I am going to break that up into two sentiments because I'm going to, I scored the sentiment in half because it's going to be in the fold. It's going to be in the center of the card. So I'm going to do today is all on the left side of the sentiment and about, about you is on the right side. About you. Yeah, that sounds right. It sounds funny in my own head, you guys. So I am using Ranger's Archival Jet Black Ink to stamp this up. So you see that I masked that one side off because then I'm going to move it over and ink up the other side. That way I could score it in the middle without scoring right through um, a letter or, <clears throat> excuse me, through a word. <laughs> so just bending that a little bit. I love that about the Misties that you can, you know, kind of work these sentiments into the shape of your banner. Really is really is super easy. You gotta eyeball it a couple times and just kind of wiggle it around till you like what you see. Now I will mask off the other part, ink that up. Don't forget to take off your mask because I have done that, not fun. And now you've got this cute sentiment. So now I'm going to, just like I've done everything else, stick it down, fold it, and then glue the other side and fold the other side of the card over. Except for I got adhesive everywhere so I needed to use my little eraser to get that off. And now you've got that darling sentiment. And I did do the sun from the center picture window card out of uh, yellow cardstock. And now it's time to add some details. I am gonna be adding some white gel pen. You know how that's how I do things. A Little bit of highlights everywhere. All over the palm tree. I'm gonna do some onto the sand as well. And then I will come back with um, some Copic markers and some, and some sand colors and do the same thing on the sand. So on the grass pieces and on um, the sun and the palm trees. So now here are some darker colors. Um, I think this was E37, but it could be E59. Um, and adding that. I did need to add a little bit of highlights to the boat, which I probably should have done beforehand. So I just stuck my finger behind it <laughs> and added a little bit of white pin detail. Now we're gonna work on the front of the card and I promise this part will go pretty quick. Um, I cut out the word dad and this is from Simon Says Stamp, their mom and dad die. And I am taking the red markers, our 35, 37, and 39 and I'm coloring um, the word dad, you could just cut this out of cardstock, but I wanted this to have the shadow effects from the markers. Um, I really felt like it made it come to life. So I'm just doing that. I'm just adding dark around the outside and around the inside of the circle part and blending it out just like you normally would do. Nothing spectacular here. And I'm doing that with all the letters, all three letters. <laughs> then we will add some white pin detail to that as well. The front is super simple, but I really love the colors and how it turned out. So just finishing blending that out, and you can see the nice good blend compared to the other letters that just have the one color. So I cut them out twice, and I'm going to adhere them together to give a slight bit of dimension. You don't have to do that, or if you want to do that, you could do it with, no, actually I did it three times, you guys. I, I apologize. No, I didn't, that's twice. Um, you also could do it with foam tape. Nope, yeah, foam tape or um, fun foam. Now I cut another wave out of the stitched wave borders from Lawn Fawn, added some foam tape behind that and the other anchor, I've glued that all together. I've glued the dad word in wonky so it looks like it's floating in the waves and then you open it up and you've got this fantastic scene inside the card. But the front is super simple and easy. So here's the white pin detail. I love that the anchor is hanging down from that, almost like the word dad 
is a boat as well, if that makes sense. So a little bit of white pin detail goes a long way, you guys. Some glossy accents on the heart, both hearts, and on the flag of the boat, and on the little windows of the boat. And, oh, and the st I think maybe it's called the staff. Maybe that's what it's called that the flag is on. I don't know. Maybe one of you guys can know and you can leave me a comment so I can get that right. <laughs> but that's done. Don't close your card until everything dries, you guys. <laughs> but isn't that super cute? Thank you guys so much for stopping by um, and watching my YouTube video. I appreciate you guys. You guys bless me all the time. If you like what you've seen, please thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Remember, I have some affiliate links below. It really costs you nothing, but it absolutely helps me. So thank you so much, and I'll be back soon.